Welcome my dear friends, my dear masters and my dear gods. I welcome you for this program because it is the essence of spiritual wisdom which has been handed over to us through the great spiritual author Harold Walwin Percival from his book Thinking and Destiny. As has been told very often, this book is very great in the sense that it's a book of books and our revered Brahmashri Subhash Patriji considers it as a book of the century. No wonder he has selected this book for offering to us the essence of the book, the contents of the book in the form of daily messages which we are able to get and to learn so that we improve ourselves and go to greater levels of spiritual wisdom. I am S.K. Rajan, Vice President of the Indian Federation of Spiritual Scientists. I am accompanied by my partner, life partner, Girija Rajan, Brahma Vidwarishta Girija Rajan, who will be offering her comments together with some supplementary information from me. We have been considering what accidents are and how accidents take place in the last episode. So today we go on to know what are the balancing factors in respect of our thoughts and how exteriorizations are useful to prevent accidents. And accident is an exteriorization of a thought. An accident is an event which happens to one or more persons or things unexpectedly without being foreseen and without intention. Therefore, the accident stands out from the general and foreseen order of events as unusual or separate. A so-called accident is like any other event on the physical plane, a thought in a certain part of its course. A thought is a being created by the conscious light and desire and which when issued has in it an aim, a potential design and a balancing factor which balancing factor, like the needle of a compass, points to the final balance of the thought as a whole. The thought endures until the balancing factor has brought about an adjustment through the one who issued the thought. The balancing factor causes the exteriorizations as long as the thought endures. Whenever the thought moving in its course, courses approaches the physical plane, it causes the one who issued it to be in place for an exteriorization of a thought. Yeah, thank you very much uh, Rajan sir for uh, reading out that excellent passage on uh, the event called accident. Accidents mostly happen, we think, as per normal thinking, we think it is an accident or suddenly something happens, shocking happens. But for that accident to happen, somewhere, some time back, we should have issued such a thought to be in an accident, without which it cannot happen. The exteriorization happens to a person or a group of people or to any other material thing or anything like that. Anything can happen to anybody or anything. So that is called, that we call as accident. But it cannot happen without a prior thought, which is pushing this event to take place at the appropriate time, place and situation. So for an accident to happen, it doesn't simply happen. There is, uh, it is backed by the energy of a thought or uh, the thoughts of a group of people 
join together and that energy that forms the course of events that will take place in such a way that those persons together or a single person may participate in that event called accident. So the event, event formation is very fantastic that is uh, backed by this great energy, thought energy and somehow it will come and it will reach the person. So how we, if we go back to the source and find out how we were there at that place at, at the time of the accident, if you go back then we will know how the events have formed. Prior to that what has happened, if you just look at that, it will be amazing because there, there wouldn't have been any uh, reason for us to go to a place at all. But suddenly some thought comes and it drives us to that place. It is because of the original thought which we have already issued uh, fearing an accident. So that thought has to materialize now, exteriorize. So because of that so many other thoughts will come inside and push us to that place of event at the appropriate time and situation. So, this is how it is happening. So, but usually we think that it all happens casually without any prior notice or we do not know about it. Yes, we do not know about it because we were not conscious of that thought at all. So, we were not aware of the thought. Unawarely, we could, unaware in uh, uh, no awareness, we have issued that thought and that has become a reality. So, how we should be very careful in issuing the thought, that is what our uh, uh, great master Percival wants to tell us, how every thought of us is going to have an exteriorization, it is going to materialize someday or the other, so we do not know when it will come, when it is going to take place, only the time we do not know, but it is certain that every thought will find its balance and it will be materializing. So we should remember that before issuing any thought, any thought crossing our mind, we should be very very careful, we should never entertain thoughts like that, the destructive thoughts, so that uh, we will be not involved in all these events, so called events called accidents. I would like to only supplement with one statement that this accident as you call it, we call it accident because we feel it is of a sudden nature. It is not so sudden and that is what Percival wants us to understand that all this has been caused due to certain factors which have led to it and that is our thinking. So this aspect of it if we are very sure about and very careful about then there will be no cause for any suddenness in events taking place. So I am continuing the read reading. An exteriorization can happen only when there is a juncture of time, condition and place. The laws which control the exteriorization do not always fit in with the intention and expectation of the persons concerned and the exteriorization is then called an accident. An accident is a perceived physical part of a thought which is proceeding on its otherwise invisible course. The exteriorization makes visible that part of the thought which touches the physical plane and is not yet balanced. The demonstration is made on or through the person who is concerned in the accident. Accidents such as a personal injury or a barn being struck by lightning or an occurrence which prevents one from embarking on a ship that is to be wrecked come only to those whose thoughts are thereby partially exteriorized to them. An accident presents to the one to whom it happens something of his past, either distant or recent. The accident is a part of one of his own thoughts that he has not balanced and which will endure and from time to time meet him face to face as a physical event until he has paid or received the payment through the direct exteriorizations of the design and he learns his lessons from that child of his mind and desire and has satisfied his conscience. Often 
accidents come to injure him often to help him and sometimes as protections see every thought that is uh, unbalanced not it been materialized has to find its time and place and situation in such a way that such an event take place but usually we think we just casually think about something and we don't care much uh, give much attention to whatever we goes through our mind we entertain such disastrous or negative thoughts unknowingly unconsciously so that is what we do most of the times most of the thoughts which are there in the mind are all junk we don't need that but we entertain such thoughts the fearful thoughts because of so many other karma so many other conditions that we have gone through so now the time has come for us to understand very clearly that nothing happens without a background there is no casual things that is happening here at all just like that something happened no it is not like that definitely there is a force there is an energy behind every event every single event so you that part of the thought which you have had sometime in the recent past or distant past that will come into to the fore and that will find its place and that will get balanced the thought will materialize then it get gets balanced then no more the effect of the thought will be there but before that situations arise in such a way that we participate in that we may like it we may not even have the intention of it we may not like the event we may not have the intention to have that event but in spite of all that the thought will get materialized to our uh, shock and our anxiety it happens like that so we should be very very careful about uh, the thoughts thought region should be very well handled so who can do that only a person who is regular in meditation can handle these things because mind is full of thought energy is a very powerful tool but what we do is we, most of the time we misuse it so what happens and we are un- unaware and unconscious of the thoughts passing through so when the events come only we realize oh this is because of the exteriorization even that we do not know now only after perceval says it is an exteriorization of your own thought any accident then only we realize oh it is because of that so until now we have not paid that much attention to our thought region at all but thought region is the most important region out of which everything has been created because of thought because of that energy everything on this earth what you see or what you do not see all those things have been created so we should be very very cautious and aware while we think of something especially for others we should have uh, very na- very positive thoughts and miraculous thoughts we should always entertain miraculous thoughts that's why in pssm we are taught taught that there are four types of thoughts that is um, a disastrous thought a negative thought a positive thought and a miraculous thought so we are trained to have uh, entertain only miraculous thoughts so always have faith in miracles yes miracles are something that we have not experienced so far we do not know about it so far but it, when it happens we think it is a miracle but it it will happen we think it is only for the the uh, property of somebody else no it is not like that it depends upon our thought when we entertain such thoughts then definitely miraculous thoughts not only for ourselves for others also then miracles only happen no uh, need of having any accident so we should remember this we should be very very aware conscious of our thought region and entertain such thoughts which on which we don't have any sort of the object on which of, the, uh, of about which we are thinking we don't get involved or we don't get attached that is how we should think that's what perceval says again and again so uh, very clearly he has put it that every thought of ours will lead to any accident also it is possible so how we should think is very very important the reasons why events happen to him in the form of accidents in an exceptional unforeseen manner 
are that a man would not do certain things to himself like breaking an arm or that circumstances do not call for a commission of a crime against him that is an intentional injury or finally that the happening accidentally is the easiest and most direct way to bring about the juncture of time condition and place for the exteriorization further there is in the happening of an accident a special call for attention an accident rather than an ordinary event produces this because the accident is unlooked for and startling an accident is brought about in the ordinary course of the law of thought as destiny every man has a vast number of thoughts cycling in his mental atmosphere toward and away from exteriorization on the phys- physical plane the thoughts live on with a tendency to exteriorize in the events which the balancing factor in each of them requires and projects yeah beautifully put by percival sir that is uh, every thought ha- will find its way to f- to materialize itself what we think uh, an accident how it is an accident because uh, we don't involve ourselves until that time that very particular moment in which the accident happens we don't cut uh, if there is a thought the thought is not exteriorized by cutting an arm or, in, or uh, uh, causing personal injury it doesn't uh, get balanced that way because nobody does like that so only way is to uh, give a shock to the person who is involved who has released that thought or who has uh, entertained such thoughts so only such person will get that uh, e- get involved in that event so it is very shocking it is very uh, uh, bewildering for us to undergo that event because uh, nobody would have thought of it that but nobody would have thought that it is we have also entertained such thoughts so uh, we should how careful we should be in uh, our thoughts thought region that is what he says so it will fi- somehow it will find its uh, a time place and condition in order that the thought is balanced by exteriorization so we, when it will happen we do not know so life is full of such, such uh, shocks and surprises so both plus and minuses are there in our lives so minus about minuses we are talking of that is accidents so it may happen any time according to the uh, energy of the thought everything will happen so if you have thought very seriously a disaster entertain a disaster thinking for a long time very seriously then it will it will exterior uh, it will materialize only in that uh, way in that form in that uh, intensity so we should uh, know all these things so that we will be much careful and very selective in our uh, th- in our thought uh, in our entertaining of thoughts so that the thought region always remains uh, soft and uh, clean and uh, without any disturbance that is what is very important because thought region has to be kept very clean so that mind can w- work as a powerful tool to uh, enable us to go in our path uh, it is uh, the tool can be used in both ways so like a knife can be used in both uh, uh, destruction and uh, constructive activities so it is like that the mind is also like that so we should uh, always try to make the mind a very very great tool in in order that we get all miracles happen in our lives so that is that should be the idea then uh, then the thoughts that unconscious thoughts will vanish away they will never get exteriorized and we will never entertain such thoughts that is the essence of the matter the thoughts begin and continue their cycles from the time a person issues them whenever they approach the physical plane they seek to exteriorize but they are often held back by the exteriorizations of his present design when there is an opportunity be it ever so slight the whole nature of the man seizes upon it and uses it to precipitate an event which will bring about one of these exteriorizations every thought once it is issued endures and appears cyclically exteriorized as a physical event 
For that purpose, the one who issued the thought calls mentally or psychically on other persons concerned with the thought through their atmospheres. If a cycle of one of those persons' thoughts coincides with a cycle of one of his own, this will produce unintentionally to the first one the event which is called an accident. The Percival goes on to explain further that how a person gets involved in an, in an accident. That is, uh, the, he says, the thoughts, are, thoughts move in cyclic manner and they, when they reach the earth plane, the material earth plane, then they get their exteriorization. That is how it is materialized. So, so far it gets materialized, it is in a, an unknown and an unseen uh, area. So, it, it can never, thought cannot be read out or it cannot be seen or felt also. Only the person who is entertaining it will know. Nobody else will know about the thoughts. And further he goes on to say that another person who also entertains similar thoughts, <coughs> maybe he will also get into the same cycle of thoughts of the first person. Then the first person gets in, involved uh, in that uh, uh, event of accident uh, even more quickly and uh, the event will happen in a very quick, uh, in a very short period because the intensity will be more because the another person is also involved in entertaining the same thoughts. So, uh, that all these things are involved there. So, other person's thoughts, thoughts are also there involved. So, we should know clearly what is our thought, what is other person's thought, how we should get, get away from all that. We have to unweed our mind continuously. So, just keeping on the my thought region very clean is our uh, should be our goal because it uh, then only we will we'll be able to make the mind a great tool for our own upliftment our own uh, benefit otherwise it will go on like that and uh, the conditions will worsen 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 every day and we'll go on like that and it's a, it's a birth after birth incarnation after incarnation these things will follow us and we will unnecessarily get into trouble until the thoughts are exteriorized. Somewhere, somehow, it will try to exteriorize in the earth plane when it touches the ground, so uh, the, the earth plane, the surface, then it definitely uh, try to materialize. So, we should be very, very careful regarding our thought region and keep it very clean. Uh, only beneficial thoughts for ourselves and for others should be entertained. That is what I understand from here. Another manner in which accidents are brought about is by elementals or nature units. They follow and are bound by a man's thought and rush with it into his body as an impulse so that he unexpectedly performs an act which results in an accident to him. He may, for instance, cut himself or may fall in front of a fast-moving car. Another way in which elementals may act to precipitate a thought is by producing an occurrence without human intervention as where fire burns a man or a cinder gets into his eye or melting ice drops on him from a roof or he finds articles of value. In every instance, his own thought Seeking exteriorization is the means of precipitating upon him the event which he calls an accident. This uh, paragraph is very interesting. That is, uh, the thought that uh, a man releases, definitely it will try to find out some way or the other to exteriorize. So, it may, uh, the accident that happens, that is the materialization of a thought, can bring about a teaching for him, a learning. Of course, it will bring about a pain also, a suffering also. But at the same time, it may be a protection also. It may help him also. So, such uh, things also happen because, because of an accident. Some people get protection. So, in various manners, we have various events, we can see that. So, and but there is a great learning behind all this. Every event contains a great learning. So, we should be very, very cautious. And uh, we cannot take things for granted and just uh, think straight, uh, straight things should not be there. We should uh, try to be in a meditative state throughout so that the materialization will not affect us that much. So, 
we have to be uh, at most careful even while our eyes are open in a wakeful state we should be very very aware that is what the essence of uh, paragraph i think the purpose of an accident is to call one's attention to the thought of which it is one of the exteriorizations one to whom an accident happens can always by searching find out something about that though the event may not reveal the whole past to him it may reveal that portion of the past which it is necessary for him to know if he tries to understand he will learn and he will learn more if he is willing to pay he must pay anyway what he learns will bring him nearer to the adjustment there is a, every thought uh, you'll find its way to exteriorization so when uh, 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 when a thought is exteriorized then as a as an event like accidents then man is uh, able to learn from that so many peop- it is the caused to teach him some lesson that is what we should understand every accident has got its purpose also so in that way accidents they help us because it gives us a, it will give us a shock and we will think why it has happened oh it has only originated from me so how i should have my thought region that is the first learning that man gets so somehow we get get so many things that will we'll get so many lessons through which we keep on learning so apart from uh, uh, his own uh, thoughts there are uh, elementals also they also cause some accidents they will be cause of some accidents man's uh, thought need not uh, uh, be there at all without uh, even man's thought some accidents will happen like a, a burning suddenly a, a, there is a short circuit and everything gets burnt so in in a fire in accidentally it happens so many things will happen like that a tree gets burnt like that so so many things happen we know that so without man's uh, thought interfering at all also so many accidents will happen and uh, man may if he has got any thought any small thought also he may be a participant in that event he may become like that in order to learn something so we how our thoughts should be that is what is the intention of uh, perceval he again and again stresses that our thought region should be perfect that is what he intends and furthermore what he says is uh, without any intention or without any desire uh, these things happen really but because some there is one thought and it has got its force it's got its, its energy that has to form an event so somehow it will pull us into the event and the event will happen that we call, that which we call as an accident so uh, it is uh, possible for every one of us to get uh, into some accident or the other uh, because of our past, past thoughts so that we should remember so how a present thought should be that is very important that is what we learn suppose two men are traveling in a mountainous con- country by placing his foot on an insecure stone one of ho- one of them slips and falls into a ravine his companion goes to the goes to the rescue finds the mangled body below among the rocks and close at hand he discovers cropping out from the side of the ravine a vein of gold the death of the one who impoverishes his family and causes failure to some with whom he was in business because of that fall the other discovers an ore deposit which becomes a source of wealth such an occurrence is said to be an accident bringing death to one sorrow and poverty to some failure to others and good luck to the comrade whose wealth is gained by chance there is no accident or chance connected with such occurrences each of the events is in accordance with the working out of the law's destiny and is an exteriorization of some thought issued by the person affected though beyond the limits of perception see all these uh, thoughts manifesting or materialization of thoughts is really something that is beyond our usual per- perception that is a normal man's perception but uh, if he tries definitely he can understand so uh, he has given a very beautiful example here 
two persons are going on the on mountaineering and they reach to the almost the top of the cliff and uh, but at that at the same time uh, one person uh, keeps his leg on an unstable stone and he happens to fall down the other man who is trying to rescue his friend goes below and uh, the person who has fallen uh, into the ravine is dead and gone the other person finds to his amazement uh, by the side only a heap of gold so with that he will he has got a bright future to prosper because he has got that wealth so it uh, the accident has uh, accident of one has caused wealth for the other and the one who has uh, met with an accident he is uh, gone he is he would have had the trauma of uh, death by an accident and uh, people belonging to him they will be go into uh, uh, poverty and suffering and uh, other others connected also will be very much in pain and uh, suffering whereas the other person the person who lives uh, uh, has got lot of wealth with which he can lead a very uh, grand life so our own thoughts so when they materialize one may have the same accident but one may have same mountain mountaineering but one may have disastrous results whereas the other may have miraculous results so we can, we can think of the, it depends upon the thoughts that each person has entertained that is what uh, percival he says so we should always remember all these points he stresses by uh, telling so giving us so many examples so that we will remember every time so it goes deep within us uh, how to have entertain a thought so uh, but patri ji goes on to to tell us in pssm pyramid spiritual society's movement he teaches us that it is not the thought that we can immediately correct it is the word that has to be corrected so word is there in our hands so before releasing a word we should be very very cautious very very careful and we should be edited several times before utter a word so word is very care, uh, carefully uttered to be very carefully deal, dealt with so that the thoughts become themselves very much uh, uh, clean and only beneficial thoughts are entertained so we, first we, the region that we have to correct is the vakshetra or the word so before uttering anything to think twice thrice or any any number of times before it is uttered it is put forth so like that in that way we we also see that our thoughts are uh, streamlined our thoughts and we have a control over th- our thoughts and we are very aware what thoughts we entertain so first we should begin with our word region so word region is very important in due course the thought region also will get get rectified so and rectified means we will be more aware and conscious of the thoughts so word is very important so uh, because the action and thought they are not in our hands they depend upon so many other factors whereas word is there in our hands now what we use so those words we sh- should be very carefully released in order that the thought region is rectified and our actions are also rectified so so that we ourselves don't bring about Uh, problems and accidents in our own lives that is what they mean so uh, we um, now we have taken the example of Pat, um, from patriji's te- te- teachings also so in this connection so patriji goes on how practically we can uh, rectify our thought region there is no accident or chance connected with such occurrences each of the events is in accordance with the working out of the law as destiny and is an exteriorization of some thought issued by the person affected though beyond the limits of perception the one who was killed was a man whose allotted time had run its course though his death could have occurred a little sooner or might have been postponed for a short time the manner of his death had been predetermined to be sudden further it was necessary on account of his family and his business connections that his relations to them be severed abruptly therefore he suffered sudden death yeah he goes percival goes on to say further explain to us that the person who has uh, been killed in the accident it has been predetermined already that he should end his life abruptly with the shock so and the people who are connected also he has got uh, disconnected from them and they out of, because of that the um, 
people, these family members will have to undergo the suffering. So these are all, all the sufferings are meant to give us a very good lessons, very good teaching. The entire life is full of such events. Now and then they come and go, they come and go. Uh, intermittent, intermittent with the very good joyful events also. So like that life is always uh, designed in that way. So and to understand it uh, earlier itself is very difficult. Even after it happens, it is very difficult to understand what is happening. So we should go deep within us to find out the answers for all these things. The best method is to go into meditation and find out the reason for every event in our lives. The other person who is, has got the gold is, is, has designed his life in such a manner. He deserves that. That is why he has gone to the cliff and because of the fall of another, his friend, he got this uh, treasure. So, uh, how things are happening, the formation of events are amazing. So, we, we should know all these things. How it, uh, how it has come to him, that also he should know. How the treasure came to him. It is because of his own thoughts. So how we, the two persons who are doing the same thing at the same time, but one ends with a one result, very miraculous result. The other ends, ends up with a disastrous result. So it is all because of our prior thinking, our, our own thoughts. They only form our own lives. So we should think that, uh, we should know that perfectly that thought has created everything. Thought is creating everything for us now also and thought will continue to create our future also. So how we entertain our thought with the care and with that most awareness, that is very, very important. It is injurious to speak of accident and chance as events happening without cause and irrespective of law. Such unthinking use of the words fosters in people the belief that they may act or fail to act and not be held accountable. They come to believe that things may happen to them without cause, so they may dull their moral, concep moral conceptions. They limit their views and reasoning to things on the physical plane. They trust to chance and are liable to become irresponsible. Yeah, beautifully said by Percival. See, man always is trying to be ir irresponsible because he doesn't want to take that responsibility, that burden on himself. He doesn't want to put himself, put the blame on himself because he has been, you continuously been trained or continuously be habituated in blaming others. Everything happens because of our own thinking. He doesn't want to take that, uh, that truth at all. So he avoids that. He doesn't want to understand that. But, but that uh, that will make him very dull, that will make him make his reasoning very, very poor. So uh, the capacity to reason is will become very, very uh, shoddy and uh, very uh, uh, not at all sharp, very dulled and dumbed. So that is what he, Percival says, that we should have that uh, uh, the responsibility. We should take up the responsibility by ourselves because it is everything is because of our own thoughts. The whole life is full of uh, events. Uh, they are all born because of our thoughts only. So uh, we should uh, know this and take the responsibility and lead the life. And not only that, we also cause uh, uh, injury and suffering to others because of our own thought. So that also is, we should take in mind. And we should entertain such thoughts, which will be very, very beneficial to us as well as for, to the others. So such uh, miraculous thoughts, or positive thoughts and miraculous thoughts only should be entertained in our minds. For that, we should correct our uh, word region. That is very important. We start with word region. Accidents which happen to a community like a conflagration, cyclone, inundation or pestilence are likewise the exteriorization of thoughts of those affected. Under this head fall the, also the destruction of hamlets and cities and the devastation of countries like the ruthless raising of the Carthage, the sacking of Rome, the plundering of the Spanish settlements, etc. In these cases, the just suffer with the unjust. The unjust are the evil ones in the present. The just are the unrighteous of the past. Such destinies have been made by the action and inaction. 
the participation and indifference of the inhabitants in times such as those of the persecution of those in Netherlands, etc. That we have seen in history that so many countries they get devastated, so many countries are being plundered, so many natural calamities happen. We, have, we come across so many things. If we read, we will know it. But there in that event, a huge event, even the just and unjust, they get into involved into the, that uh, sort of uh, an event called accident. It will happen. But uh, those are uh, unjust are all such, uh, such uh, careless, mind, care, careless people who don't bother about anything. They only want to create some problem for the others. So they, are, they have been dishonest in their lives. That we know. But what about the people who are just, who are, who are honest, who want to live, live a peaceful life, who peaceful, peace-loving people? So such people who are innocent, so-called innocent people, have been dishonest or have not have neglected the law because of uh, their active, their actions or their uh, indifference to law and uh, the general moral laws. So they have neglected all this in their past lives. So the past thinking has designed their future. So this, this incarnation, even if they are just, they are honest also, they participate in such great uh, events, great accidents that have, have been happening. So the thought that was released never leaves us alone. It always continues to come behind us and it will definitely form events in front of us. So we should be aware of that. We should know this first, take the responsibility and our speech should be perfect. Then, then the other thing, the thought region is uh, definitely will be cleansed. What we speak should be truth and also uh, straightforward and to the point and be in the present and talk. And so only situations should be noticed. We should take into consideration all those things and see that there is a law behind everything. It is not this carelessly we live here and go. No, there is a very great law. So we should be the law abiding citizen of this cosmos. Cosmos has definitely has a law without which we, we see, ordinarily we see you know, the, the planets, the sun, everything goes on in a certain order. So order is there. So we should abide by that. If we, if we are going to go against it, then definitely we are in for trouble. So we should make our life so very uh, great, uh, an adventure to live uh, by and, and, uh, and also a pleasure to be here. At the same time, learn so many things. From others who have had accidents, we have to learn from that also. So we should make ourselves very responsible. Otherwise, we, we only will create much harder things for us. So the, with this uh, note, I think uh, we'll, uh, we have come to the end of the session. Over to Rajan sir. So friends, today we have examined how, ex how accidents occur and what are the causes for accidents and how we could avoid the accidents. In fact, there's nothing like, nothing better than being impeccable with our word and our thought. Once this is ensured, I think life will be worth living and enjoying. Thank you. Thanks to Madam Girija Rajan too. Thank Bye you. for the present. Bye.